I must share this with you. If diabolical evil ever comes against you, don't you ever feel forsaken, forsaken by God. You're not forsaken. Believe it or not, you're chosen. You're chosen because you have such a dynamic life story or testimony. Your testimony can save millions. I thank God today for my testimony. It is, it is God's divine order. It is joyous. I don't understand God's magic formula. He can take some of the, the most cruel, sadistic events and turn them into pure blessings. He will. He did. Please listen to and follow my blog, onemotherlesschild.blogspot.com. Also, follow me as Miss Doster, the runaway teacher, on YouTube and the J.R. Walters Chronicles. You'll learn a lot. You'll learn a lot. You'll learn to not be ethnocentric. Miss D's question of today. Right now, write down, don't Google it. What does the word ethnocentrism mean? I'll just go ahead and tell you. Ethnocentrism is the belief that your culture is superior to all others, but I'm going to take that a step further. Ethnocentrism is the false belief that one's own culture is superior to all cultures and that everyone should desire to be like your culture, to speak your language, to dress like you, and to look like you. That cannot happen. We must share culturally and honor culturally. I am culturally different. I am not culturally deprived. Make sure you know that. Tune in to... Sorry about my dogs. I'm so sorry. I'm going to take care of that.